this day 17 of under this wordpress pro free web design course in this video we are going to discuss about intro to web hosting account manager so you will understand what is web hosting account manager how does it different from the cpanel account of your web hosting so let's get into the video don't forget to smash the subscribe button tap the notification bell and mark or so you don't miss any day in this free course then tap the like button and let me hear in the comment below what is your experience using web hosting account manager so while we move into today i still need to uh, remind you that we are in the 100 days wordpress pro free course so in this course what is it mean from you for you I'm moving you from beginner to WordPress Pro in just 10 minutes daily for 100 days. For what reason? In order to help you to you know, have a skill that you can turn into passive income online like I've been doing and making money from home since 2013. So I am Solomon Foske. Don't forget all you need to do is just to click on the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and that bell mark or select the option for all so you don't miss every of this information and courses uh, videos that I will be dropping so we are going under this and covering five solid design of uh, with WordPress you uh, business forum e-commerce landing pages and then even uh, uh, a blog with WordPress so I believe you don't want to miss it so we are still in the section one which is the introduction to web design with wordpress so let's go in deeply while i show you different things you need to get familiar with as a beginner in a web hosting manager if you remember i told you that i got an hosting in the previous uh these lessons that got an hosting so i can show you everything in details so and at the same time i do tell you that this hosting this domain that i have to buy so that i can show you everything to help you know what to do as a beginner to become a pro wordpress uh, designer and start any online you know i told you if you have interest and want to support me please go to foskwebmaster.com donate or check the link in the description of uh, this video so you can support all most of that support goes for renewal of this hosting because i have to renew it on monthly basis you see that continue to renew every one month until you cancel so need to renew you know you can also use my athlete link to get hosting with interserver or bluehost uh, uh name silo domain and some other things that i recommend like seo tools for your seo marketing when you do that I earn a commission and that is part of what helped me to be able to create this in-depth free course for you and make it available for you free. So now the next thing we want to do is remember in the previous video the uh, 16 I told you that this section the building we have discussed and make use of cPanel login information you have seen what a WordPress uh, we're hosting not just about wordpress you can use it for any other site so this is how the cpanel looks like so if any hosting or anything promises you cpanel like the free hosting we check out i think on day 14 or so that promise cpanel but eventually it wasn't like a real web hosting cpanel this is how the real cpanel looks like so we have seen that login and set up our name server where we point our domain from name silo to our web hosting server if you are having issue with that you can check it out as well so now i told you apart from cpanel there are like two accounts you must have access to in a uh, actual hosting that one is what we call the hosting account manager that is where you manage your billing your hosting plan and a lot of other things and i showed it to you in some other lesson as well where i proved that i've been using interserver so i'm not just 
recommending because I want to aim from athlete. Well, if you purchase with my link, I will aim. But at the same time, I need to let you know it's what I've used for over one and a half years by the time I'm recording this video. So now I want to check on that account manager and introduce you to some basic things how to make use of it. So now you have this. You can see it my interserver.net. So we can go to that. And then we can log in. This will your, the email you use the uh, web hosting they will send you that details so and for sure you should know what you use as a password or so get in and we'll continue here we go so this is you see inter server your web hosting uh, manager this is different from your cPanel. This is different, totally different from your cPanel. This is a cPanel, you can see this is your cPanel here, but this is your where you manage everything. You can see it is saying we have web hosting plan, which is one you can buy more and still be able to manage it within the same uh, web hosting manager as long as you are using the same web hosting. So we only have one we didn't have any domain register i told you i don't register and advise you to have your domains and hosting on the same hosting except maybe if they are offering it free and just for a while maybe after a year or something you can transfer it to keep it out like if you join my athlete link using blue host below the domain name is free so for like inter server if you join it you can claim at one cent of your first month of hosting and subsequently just five dollar per month i tell you it's unlimited hosting and this is what we are using throughout this course so it tells you the domain and if you have vps i've also discussed about VPS. that's why if you're a beginner you should go back and start this course from day one if this is the first course you are watching you have missed a lot so i break it down with the consciousness that as a beginner you don't know anything about all these things so that's why i'm taking it step by step so uh we don't have a vps plan you can see it uh all those things this is their athlete if you want to aim with their athlete link so you can sign up and join their athlete link so uh there are a couple of things you just need to know if you want to have to me you have vps then your storage you can view your storage here or buy storage buy uh backup your web hosting this is where you have details of your web hosting uh happy deploy server your servers then majorly most of those areas you'll be using is this maybe the athlete system or the billing the billing is the major one that i want to talk about that you need to be making use of this is where you pay for your hosting every month so this is where you pay for it so if you have added your card like credit or debit card then i've given them access to auto debit you you just need to be adding money to their account or, or, or something but in my own case i do prefer to use uh what they call this prepaid fund so using uh paper so which means i don't need to add any credit card or anything to the account I just refund it so I can be rest assured my credit card everything is just secured so now if you want to add credit card this is where you go so you can see it you had credit card so if you add credit card you say pay with paper you can see it so if you add a uh, credit card here then from there to there they will be able to charge it you can see it if you put auto charge on so you just click a add credit card you can see it you fill it and add it up so i'm not adding any credit card this even just a pure test uh account i had i bought for you to take you by hand step by step in this video our uh, course so i'm not adding any credit card uh basically another alternative is 
what we call that prepaid fund. So what's this prepaid fund all about? The prepaid fund is they have an account that you can add money into. So which means you can, for example, if you want to add like what you need to do, how to create this prepaid fund. Let me teach you how to do that. Add a prepaid. So just click here. Go to web hosting. You know what we are doing on their platform is web hosting. And so if you want to use it to pay for domains or something, you can. But I prefer web hosting because that's what we are using. But at the same time, you have the opportunity to pick all or just full scale example. Remember, this is the uh, hosting plan we have that single one hosting which we now have the c panel so because of that i prefer to choose all that is in case you have any other plans or any other thing you are running with them this will still make you to be able to use that money to pay for it then types you see wordpress manage hosting or other things just pick all so desired prepaid amounts so automatically use the word new invoice pick yes which means if you have money in this prepaid account i click no inter server will not have the right to go and charge money from it so i put it always at yes because the essence is that so i don't get bothered about renewal or even the, to bother to add my card so all i just need is to add a prepaid fund so Usually when I started about using them over uh, about a year and a half ago, you can add like $5, but I think maybe due to paper charges or something, they eventually increase it to minimum of $10, but don't worry, you own your $10. So like this $10 now with this normal shared hosting plan, which is just $5 per month renewal, after you enjoy like one cent per month or something, you see, this is already for like two months, so they won't overcharge you. So if you are adding this, you just click continue. Make sure these settings are right. So if not, you won't be able to use this fund to pay for your hosting. You'll be surprised you have prepaid money here, and yet they are telling you your hosting has expired or is about to expire, you need to renew. So that's what you need to do. So you always come here, you can see it prepaid amount $10, but we have zero amount remaining in the account. So to add fund, this is where you go, and you can always create as many maybe for different services, but this one covered for your hosting that we are working with. So just click on add funds. So I've told you, I believe most of you that will be following this course will be newbie and then you move from there a uh, beginner to pro so that's why i try to show you as many things because i know as beginner i've been in your shoe you are confused of almost every little thing i'm telling you i've been there i understand so that's why i'm taking the time to show you some of these things so if you can see here this is what you just need to focus on paper you see it in the server paper and then it shows you uh, like dollar amount and then that dollar amount it now tells you like what you are paying for you see it pre pay hosting total ten dollars so that's it if you continue to make payment here it will add up that uh, money so I don't intend to add money now though I will need to add within some uh, weeks time to come but at least for now I just bought that hosting so some days when we started this course so at least paid for the first one month so uh, we renew that before the end of month so we, we can have the site up to continue our course so like I said if you like to be part of this you like what is doing is imparting you is helping you then you like to donate then you can check the link or visit Foske webmaster slash donate or visit the link and at the same time you can purchase using my affiliate link from a lot of products I'm recommending in the description or at foskewebmaster.com slash choose those are all the tools I'm using for 
web design, digital marketing, sales business. So, and they are athletes. I get commission when you uh, you buy through them. So, that's it. Once you move and then go to pay now, you are able to pay, and then it will direct you back, and you will see that that ten dollar or twenty or fifty dollar that you added will be reflecting here. So, once you have it here, you don't even need to bother about when your hosting will be expiring or not because every time your hosting will expire like you can see this invoice that invoice shows you like the money you've paid you can see this when uh, we registered this domain name and started to use it for this course so you can see so this August 3rd so I think I'm recording this video August 14th so that's like maybe two weeks after or something so now by the time it is like September told this thing will need to be renewed so that's how you'll be seeing the uh, update here and there so if you'd like me to show you update on this renewal later let me know in the comment below and don't forget subscribe tap the notification bell like this video and also share it share it to help others this is a valuable course that you know it's worth paying a thousand dollars for but i'm taking my time to give it to help you as beginner and not just to get the skill but to solve a problem to give you a skill that will enable you to aim online when you aim passively online you can work from home travel wherever you are and have your life use your time use your life to do something much meaningful than selling it for you know money working offline and laboring day and night so that's the essence you can see it here so paying for that hosting so that's what the uh, invoice tells you it tells you what you have paid for how you pay and all those things so why the balance this view balance shows you invoice total that means this invoice total tells you amount you are holding maybe your hosting is due and you have not renewed I think they give you like a space of a week or two weeks but I tell you like don't risk it so you don't like to lose your hosting so prepaid total amount so assuming we've added a prepaid amount it will show it here there's one of my videos I show you an account that I have like five dollar there so you can check it in past video before this day 17 then total to be paid it will now tell you total to be paid so at the end of the month or uh, the time that your uh, domain so your hosting is passed it will keep deducting from your prepaid balance so once you have a well-filled prepaid balance you have less concern so for example you may decide to fill this up with like 60 dollars so that means for the next one year you don't even need to bother about renewal you only be getting emails every month that your hosting has been renewed your prepaid balance has been applied for payment so you won't need to bother about making the payment and all those things so those are the major things uh, that you need to know about this and you have your settings account settings so another thing that is also important that you need to know is this support you know I told you one of those things I like about their platform and support is very very fast support this something i've used for over a year and a half so i should I, I i'm telling you i know what it is in one of those projects i've added like 50 domains where i sell expired domains get the new data.com so you can check it out if you need expired domains for seo you can get in touch uh through our contact page on fullscalewebmaster.com and get the new data.com so you can always create a new ticket here you see open a new ticket fill it subject and then i can tell you within the space of 30 minutes to three hours i'm, I'm telling you you will, there's chances you will get a full full support of whatever you send so i never had to bother about having to pick up phone to call them or anything like that so i've always been able to get in touch with them so and the response so i'm always you know there's something about hosting 
you will always have one or two reasons to like get in touch with them maybe you set up a plugin and then like you need to activate something that will make the plugin work all those things so if you buy hosting where they don't take your uh their support serious that may make you to be stopped so if you don't want get on to inter server with my link below why also any commission and for just one cent for your first month or get also into blue oh, so this inter server does net i can see it we are using it in this course fully so that's it if you have anything why making use of your inter server web hosting manager that you need me to like maybe do a video and explain more or i've shown shown any uh, features here that you want to know more about so kindly let me know in the comment below let me know where you are commenting from your country what you like to know more about and don't forget to subscribe tap like and share this video so that's so far so far what a web hosting so any hosting you're using be it blue host they have their web hosting manager separate from uh, their c panel so you can always manage everything including the c panel all those things from there so that's how this uh works i think if you go back to home and click on your hosting you can have details of you can see it have details of what the active standard hosting when you go on it you can see your uh, dns all those things so that's it that's where we'll end today's video i uh, appreciate the feedback i've been getting and don't forget to subscribe one of the ways to encourage me to do this and continue in depth is to subscribe tap the notification bell i know that once i'm dropping the video there are people that is really happy and they are eager to so i myself won't want to disappoint you we want to put in my best to produce more content to help you out there in your journey to acquiring skill that will make you aim more passively online for years to come so thank you so much let me hear your view in the comments and bye for now